Hello YouTube. Um back again. Today I want to talk about the weather. I mean I'm always talking about the weather because if you watch my channel and most of you know that is the one thing that I do prep for is the weather. Because I think that's going to affect us in the long run even after the virus thing is gone. And I want to just mention uh, yeah that virus hit my family too so you're not alone out there. I'm not going to talk about it today. I'll get into it later. But uh, let's just say that the weather right now is messing up a lot of people. Matter of fact, five people got killed down in Mississippi that lived in the motorhomes. I mean, because that tornado came through and just killed a whole lot of people, did a whole lot of damage. Matter of fact, it was two EF5 tornadoes that hit at the same time down there. Two at the same time. I, that's like some stuff that happened in Dayton a couple of years ago. And then you got uh, along the Mississippi-Georgia border, they had a tornado hit down there also. I mean, it did a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of damage all the way up to the Carolinas, all the way up to South Carolina. It was a brutal, brutal, terrible day for for uh, us so far as the weather would go. I mean, here in, in Ohio and in Michigan, I know in Michigan they got almost 60 mile an hour winds. We had 50 mile an hour, 51 mile an hour winds here today. I mean, you should have heard that wind. It sounded like a freight train coming through here. I mean, it's been for like that for the last couple of days. It went from uh, 60 degrees in the morning to like 40 because of the wind. Uh, what's that, a 20 mile an hour shift in the temperature, which is a bad thing. And plus, there's a million people without power. I mean, I know here in Ohio, we have a uh, 7,500 people without power. It's just not time to panic about the weather or the virus. I mean, it's just crazy, though. But the weather is going to be the one that's going to really do us in in the long run. I mean, we always got this bad stuff happening now. Like I said, everything happened bad in threes, so you got to be ready. And <laughs> and what I say about that is uh, that reminds me of the story of the boat. And a lot of you might have heard this story. I might, I might not be able to tell it right, but let me tell you the story because I'm making this video too long. It was a guy, he was out in deep water and he was drowning. And uh, a guy come by in a rowboat and say, hurry up, get in the boat, I will save you. He said, no, I'm not getting that boat. God's going to save me. So the boat paddles away. Then another boat comes by uh, about an hour later and the guy's still out there shredding wolves treading water and he said hurry get in the boat I say no I'm not gonna get in the boat I'm waiting on God to save me so a few minutes later this big old tourist cruise boat come by he said God please get in the boat the guy say no I'm waiting on God to save me so the boat goes away the guy drowns and dies he get to heaven and he goes to look for God and he said, God, what happened? I thought you was going to save me. God say, look, man, I sent you three boats and you didn't get in either one of them. What more could I do? So the moral of the story is he was sending you what you need is you to figure it out. And God is sending preppers to everybody out here to show them what they need to do and it's up to them to figure it out. And what I mean is he, he, he sent this virus. I mean, this virus is man-made, but the virus is here. And it's up to all these people out there that are just now starting to prep to figure that out. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to have a whole lot of new preppers and a whole lot of people that's going to start to prepare. Because, see, the message is out there. You better stop preparing because things are only going to get worse. It's only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, everybody's happy that they're getting money thrown their way. But money's a temporary fix to a, a long-term problem. And that's all I wanted to say. I really didn't want to uh, say too much. You know what I'm saying? I kind of, yeah, just don't don't feel up to it. It's late. And like I said, I got a lot on my mind about other things right now. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody know I'm still here. I'm safe. And I'm not sick, and I've been in the house for, what, 34 days now, and I'm getting a little cabin fever. <laughs> Need to go do more than just walk around my yard. Maybe, maybe i do a, a drive-around video. All right, then other than that, like I say, don't forget, you got to recognize when when uh, God sends you something you need, you got to know that that's what you need. You just got to figure it out. All right, thank you, YouTube.